guys, it's Mr. Contreras. Um, miss you guys, first of all. Wish we were back in the classroom and uh, could teach you better. And uh, I just miss your guys' faces. Um, so this video is going to be explaining the project that I'm going to assign to you guys. You guys will have today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to work on it. It will be due Monday morning. Okay, this project is going to be titled World War II Battles. Okay, it'll consist of you guys. I remember at the at some point last a uh, couple weeks ago we talked about how I was in a signer project for you guys, and you would have to play the part of a radio broadcaster, okay, and explain and report out to the world what was going on at these battles, okay. So let me see right here. So what you guys will be doing up on um. On Schoology, I've created a separate folder for it. It's titled World War II Battles Project. In it, there is a materials list that you need. It's a PDF titled World War, World War II Battles. Um, if you go ahead and open that up, it gives you the directions. Okay, It's titled World War II Through the Radio. Okay, So you're going to go ahead and pick. There's a list of seven. Okay, There's seven different battles that you guys can pick from. You can pick either one. Okay, number one would be Japan attacks Pearl Harbor. Number two, the Battle of Midway. Number three, the Battle of El Alamein. Number four, the Battle of Stalingrad. Number five, um, D-Day invasion. Number six, Battle of Iwo Jima. And number seven, the Battle of Okinawa. Okay, so you guys can choose one through seven, either one of those. And your job is going to be to report the facts out to the public so that they know what's going on. You're going to have to do this in a span of two to three minutes. I'm going to give you guys an option. You can either record a voice memo on your phone, which well, that works really well with iPhone. You go to voice memos and you start recording, okay? And it's just, you record it and then I'm just going to have you guys email that to me, okay? But I want you guys to pretend like you're actual reporters, okay? Make it fun, make it funny. That counts as part of your grade as well, okay? So that's the first option. You guys do a voice memo and send that over to me via email. However, I will also be creating a Flipgrid. Okay, so you guys can record yourselves using the Flipgrid app, just like we did with the what we're doing at home thing that I had you guys do earlier in the week. It worked really well. So you guys can record yourselves. I know it's not a, well, in, in the radio um, booths, they record themselves often. So this is more a little bit technologically advanced. So we're stepping out of the 1940s um, time era here. So you guys can record yourselves um, pretending like you're in the booth, in the recording booth inside of a radio studio and reporting the news out to the world for them to see with their ears, I guess you would say, and understand and hear and know all the facts and information of what's going on in these battles. Okay, So at the bottom of the PDF that's attached and on Schoology, well, first of all, the PDF itself has information about each battle. You guys can use solely the information that's located in that PDF to report out what's being done at each battle, what's going on, what's occurring there. So we have Pearl Harbor, we have Midway, we have El Alamein, Stalingrad, D-Day, Iwo Jima, and Okinawa. Okay, There's um, a good chunk of information on all of them in the PDF that's attached, but I would also encourage you guys to use other sources for you to gather information and facts about what happened there. Okay, so good um, websites to use would be history.com or Britannica.com, the Britannica Encyclopedia. Okay, don't use Wikipedia, guys. It's not a reliable source. So we can use those other two sources that I mentioned or the just simply the, the information that's located on the PDF that I sent that's on Schoology. Okay, if you scroll all the way to the bottom of that PDF, there's a rubric. That's the rubric that I'm going to use to grade your guys' work. Okay, so there's three things that are going to be. Um, hold on, give me a second. The door was blown open by the wind. So again, there's three categories to your guys' rubric. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. There's three categories to your guys' rubric. There's going to be the delivery, the content and the enthusiasm and creativity, okay? So that's what I'm gonna be using to grade your guys' uh, project. This was initially supposed to be a group project, but that's why I'm giving you so much, so many days to work on it because you're gonna be working on it by yourself. Okay, so I want the radio broadcast to be about three to four minutes. I know I mentioned two, three minutes earlier, but I want it to be three to four. 
So three to four minutes okay, so of either your voice memo um, reporting as a news reporter or a flipgrid. Again, you're in the video, you're in the radio booth recording yourself, uh, reporting out to the world what's going on at these battles. Okay, so at the at the if you look at the rubric itself, to get a four, which is gonna be an A, you're gonna in terms of delivery, it's gonna hold the attention of the audience throughout, speaks with fluctuation in volume and inflection to maintain the audience interest and emphasize key points. For your content, you're gonna demonstrate through knowledge of the battle and events, or you're gonna demonstrate your thorough knowledge of what happened there. And you're gonna provide uh, pertinent facts and supports the radio story with essential details. Okay, so be very detailed in your reporting. And then your enthusiasm and creativity. You know, demonstrate strong enthusiasm about topic um, during the entire radio story. Okay, so that whole rubric is there for you guys to look at. I'm also gonna be having Zoom um, meetings with each class individually tomorrow morning so that if you guys have any questions on this video or on this assignment, you can ask me then. I mean, you can always reach out to me either Remind or Schoology. But during Zoom, it's live, right? So it's like you get instant answers there. So I'll be doing that. I'll put it up. Uh, I'll be posting up um, hours of what time we'll be doing that uh, shortly on the updates uh, section of our Schoology. Okay, but the rubric is at the bottom. Um, this is uh, supposed to designed to be a fun assignment, guys. Um, again, you can choose either battle to do. And then also you can choose to either do a voice memo or you can also do a video. Uh, on Flipgrid. Okay, so I'll be creating a, a, the Flipgrid section on Flipgrid. You guys already have the access code to it, so it'd be the same one. But you would post it under World War II projects under that tab. <clears throat> um, again, the you can begin working on it as of now. Create your research, um, do your research, read the readings that's attached to your PDF. And yeah, go ahead and either email me your voice memo or you're going to Submit your video to the Flipgrid. And yeah, those are your two options. And you have until Monday morning to turn this in. I'm sorry, guys. I got... Uh, I had a burp. All right, guys. I uh, miss you guys. I uh, hope to see you soon. Can't wait for May 5th. I'll be back in that classroom with you guys. And be the best teacher I can be for you. Okay, guys. See ya. Um, again, any questions, you can message me on Remind. Message me on Schoology. And... Um, Zoom office hours or Zoom conference hours that we post in shortly for each period. So I'll designate about 30 minutes for each class. If you want to join, you can join. If not, it's okay. But I encourage you to so you can ask all the questions that, that you will want to ask right then and there. Okay. All right, guys. I'll see you. Good seeing you.